Hey guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel and today I am gonna show you how you can merge two images ok guys so in the many apps you have seen how the filters are gonna apply on our uh, original image and it will generate a new image ok guys so for that uh, let's create the app ok so let's jump on our storyboard so guys as you can see I have a view controller ok and on this view controller I am gonna take one image view so let me take one image view here and uh, let me draw here so this is our image view and uh, let me give the height and width so I want to give uh, the width as the parent view ok so let me give the width as equal width and I want to give it as uh, horizontally center ok so let me give it as and uh, let me give the height also so for that I am giving the height equivalent but here I am going to give the proportional ok so let me take the height as proportional ok so the height will be 0 0.7 ok so this is the height which I want to give so this is our image and now give me top as 0 ok so as you can see guys this is our image view and here I want to draw some images ok so for that uh, let me take one image view here once again so this is our image view I want to give uh, 20 from the top and 20 from the left and 20 from the bottom ok that's all and guys uh, I want to choose the images here so let me take the images like uh, filter one ok so I have already drawn the images ok so let me show you so this, this is our original image ok on which I am going to apply the filter image ok and this is our filter images there are two filter images ok guys so let me jump on the storyboard once again and let me give the width of this image ok so for that uh, let me fit the aspect fit and let me give the width also so for that I am going to give the width as uh, 200 or 150 ok so 150 is enough now let me take one more uh, image right image view here and let me give the constraints so 20 from the top 20 from the left and 20 from the bottom ok so I want to apply like this and the width I want to equivalent to this image ok so let me give the equal width and guys let me choose the another image here that is our filter 2 ok and here I want to set my uh, you know what profile picture ok so on this picture I want to apply these filters ok so let me show you how you can apply these filters ok so for that uh, what I am going to do here guys uh, I am going to not guys for that uh, so now guys uh, let me move on the our view controller ok so this is our view controller guys and here I want to uh, you know what uh, I want to perform the code to merge the two images ok so our filter image and our original image so for that let me create the outlets here so guys this is our original image so let me take the outlet here original image ok and there are two filter images so let me take two filter images here ok so filter 1 and here I want to take the another filter ok so let me take the filter 2 so guys now let's jump on our view controller and let's perform the code here ok so I am going to create one function ok that will perform merge operation ok so merge to images are you getting my point so this will perform our merge operation and guys I am going to take one instance variable uh, that will be our uh, original image variable ok so which we are going to hold our original image ok and uh, it will be of type ui image ok now guys I want to uh, initialize this variable original image sorry I have done the smelling mistake okay. so let me go through this and original image dot uh, I think image ok and let me initialize to our uh, original image variable ok so I have clear to you what I am trying to say here and now guys let me merge the operation here 
okay so there will be two images guys okay so first will be your original image and this will be of type ui image and the second will be our uh, filter image okay so let me take the filter image it will be also of type ui image okay guys now let me get so i have two images okay now let me now i want to define the size okay so my final image will be of what size so whatever our original image i want to give the size same as size to the filter image okay so for that let me define a size okay so how can i get cg size okay so let me define the cg size for height and width so our width will be equivalent to uh, original uh, original image size width okay so let me give the original image dot sorry dot size dot width okay and in the same way let me take the height also so for that i am going to take the height here and guys so we have the uh, you know what a size okay and on that size i want to start a image context okay so the context is nothing but it's a you know what guys uh, it's a area it defines the area on which you are going to perform some operation okay so there will be a ui graphics okay begin image context okay so this is the our uh, you know what class in which you need to pass the size okay so on which size you are going to open a context for images okay so you can perform the graphics operation on that context guys by the way after this i am going to create a area on which i will draw our both images our bottom image means our uh, you know what original image and our filter image so for that let me define a area here okay so in this area i want to pass um, these things so x will be 0 y will be 0 i want to give the width okay so for that Okay, so this is our area guys and in this area uh, basically I am going to put our both images okay so first of all let me draw my, my original image okay in that area so for that I will use the draw method okay in which I want to pass the uh, rect means area okay so let me pass the uh, rect here sorry area and guys now let me uh, draw our uh, filter image okay so filter image dot draw and guys here i need to use this method okay so i need to pass the rect area okay and i need to pass the blend mode okay so guys blend mode is nothing but if you are uh, overlapping a image using another image then you need to use the blend mode as the normal okay so basically there are some color context so if you want to uh, read about something more about the blend mode then you can go on the apple official site and you can uh, read about it okay and i'm going to give the alpha okay so alpha is nothing but it's a uh, uh, fading guys so how you want to fade your uh, bottom image okay so you can give as you want as your wish okay now guys if you want to give the 0 0.5 you can give okay so in my case i'm going to give the value as 1 and guys uh, i have done with this and now our original now our filtered image has been you know what uh, produced so let me take the filtered image so final image okay so for that i am taking final image is equivalent to and guys our final image will be what guys so our final image will be uh, how we can get uh, we will use ui graphics okay guys UI graphics uh, uh, image from current image context okay so it gonna give the final image i hope uh, you have clear clarity what i'm trying to say here okay so it is returning a new final image okay and now here because we have started the context now we need to close the context here okay so for that you will write ui graphics okay and image context I hope clear to you what I'm trying to say. Now, guys, this is our final image. So I want to set this final image into our you know what original image view. Okay. So for that, let me give the image as final image. Okay. Now, guys, 
uh, I want to call this method uh, whenever uh, I'm gonna tap on our uh, filter image okay so for that let me create the uh, you know what um, tappable kind of things so let me make the th these two filter images as the tappable okay okay guys so to make it as tappable what I'm going to do here guys I'm going to take one button okay and I'm going to draw this button on this over this image okay and I'm going to give the uh, equal height and width okay center horizontally and center vertical and I'm going to remove the you know what this button text from the button okay now this is a button okay over an image and in the same way I'm going to take one more button for the filter too okay and I'm going to give the equal height and width okay and center vertically and uh, okay fine so this is our button okay let me take one second button and uh, okay so let me take this button as filter to the center vertically center horizontally equal width and equal height okay okay fine now this is our button and let me reposition it so guys there are two buttons and now let me remove the text from here and also from the from here okay and now i need to define the actions for these two buttons so let me create the actions okay so for that i am going to do what guys i am going to take the button action here okay so apply filter one okay and in the same way i'm going to take this this button okay apply filter two so I, this is the way how you can uh, create the outputs okay so i know you know very well about it okay now guys here what i'm going to do here i'm going to merge call merge two images okay and i need to get the filter image so guys i need to create the outlet for our image view i think we have created already okay so there are two image view and now let me give the pass the original image so where is our original image in this variable okay so let me take this variable here and pass here and here let me pass the filter image one okay so because if we are creating clicking on the filter one then it should apply the filter one image okay so for that i am going to pass the filter one dot image okay and here guys it is optional value so let me pass a blank ui image okay and in the same way i am going to call here okay just let me pass the filter to image okay and now let me run and let me show you how is it going to work okay so what is the problem here guys uh, okay now so let me okay and here guys uh, i'm not going to okay i'm not going to pass the default value okay i'm going to forcefully so let me unwrap the value forcefully okay instead of because this is our assets now so each and every time we will get this is the show to okay so let me run it and let me show you how you can merge two images so guys our application up and running and now let me create on this so guys as you can see our image has been applied our filter image has been applied on our original image and it is it has been set it on the uh, image view okay so if i click on this then as you can see guys each and every time it is applying the filter images okay so in this way you can generate the third image by merging two images so guys uh, i hope you have clear clarity about it how we can uh, perform the merge operations of two images okay guys so guys uh, if you really like the video then hit the like button and share with your friends so that uh, they can learn the new thing and guys if you are having any suggestion then you can comment in the comment section uh, i will see you in the next video thank you for watching this video thanks bye bye take care have a nice day happy morning